first at 4.30, a moment in Hawaiian history, 130 years in the making. Today, Queen Liliuokalani's royal standard returned to Washington Place for the first time since the 1893 overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Stephanie Lum gives us a look. A piece of Hawaiian history is home at last. Monday's ceremony, rich with Hawaiian protocols, officially welcomed Queen Liliuokalani's royal standard back to Washington Place. 130 years ago, the provisional government created after the queen was dethroned confiscated her personal flag. January 1893 was one of those critical inflection points that forever sent the land that we love down a different path. And because of the calamity of the events that occurred, key items of Hawaii's history were lost, stolen, and deprived to generations of Hawaiians. The flag disappeared from history until two years ago when it nearly went up for auction in New York City. Instead, an antiques dealer agreed to sell the flag and historic documents for $60,000 to the estate of Abigail Kawananakoa and fellow heiress Brendan Damon Ethington. They donated the items to the state. Her personal royal standard is not just a historical artifact. Its return represents the perpetuation of her legacy. She put the well-being of her people first. It symbolizes her personal sacrifice to secure the prosperity and peace for her people. Invited guests, including members of royal orders and state lawmakers, had the chance to take a close look at the flag before a one-day-only public viewing. We're just passing through history. This is the Queen's history, and it's the history of Hawaii. So we're grateful to be able to share it with so many extraordinary people in our state. Well, today's event was absolutely amazing. It was everything I could have hoped for and more. We know intellectually how impactful the artifacts of Hawaii's history can be, but to actually see it, to be there in a room full of individuals who love and appreciate Hawaii's history, was, was an incredibly moving experience. The flag will now be protected in a climate-controlled vault in the state archives. Stephanie Lum, Hawaii News Now.